Welcome to our first tutorial about creating a cross connection. In this tutorial, we're going to use surfaces to create a cross connection between two pipes. Let me start by creating a circle on sketch one. Now I'll apply some dimensions. Diameter of two inches and OK. Let's exit this sketch and activate the extrude tool. We're going to output as a surface for a distance of 5 inches. And we'll extrude in both directions. OK. Here's our first pipe. Let's create our second pipe now. We're going to create a second sketch on the YZ plane. Here's our second circle. Same diameter, 2 inches. OK. Exit the sketch. And now let's activate the extrude command. In both directions, we'll output as a surface. 5 inches, OK. Now we've got two cylindrical surfaces which cross. Let's create one more sketch on the XZ plane. I'll place three rectangles. Here's the third one. Now let's activate the line tool. I'll connect the bottom left to the top right corner. And one more line. Right click, done. Let's apply a coincident relation between this point and the center point. This point and the center point. Where are you? There you are. And one more between this point and the center point. Right click, done. Let's control select our lines. Convert them to construction geometry. We'll deselect everything now and apply an equal relation. Between these two lines and these two lines. Now let's apply some dimensions. This one will be 2.5. OK. Here, 1.5 inches. OK. What I'm doing here is creating a sketch that I'll use to cut the middle section of both pipes. That'll leave me with four cylindrical segments. I'm going to connect these together afterwards using surfaces. OK, we're ready to exit this sketch. Finish sketch. Now activate the Trim Surface tool. First we need to choose our cutting tool. Let's use this square. The segments to remove will take the middle section. OK. Now let's right click and share this sketch. Apply the Trim tool again. Same cutting tool. And I'll trim the second cylindrical surface and click OK. Now we'll use the Split tool. We're going to split the remaining surfaces. The Split tool, let's select this rectangle. And this face and this face. Apply. Next we'll select this rectangle. And then these two faces. Apply and let's cancel out of the tool. Now let's hide Sketch 3 under Trim 1. Right click, Visible. And here are our four cylinders. This concludes our first tutorial about creating a cross connection. In our next tutorial, we're going to use surfaces to connect these four cylindrical pipes together.